Hey there fellow window users, let's dive right into today's topic and tackle a common but pesky issue that I personally find quite frustrating. The dreaded blue screen of death. Really gets on my nerves when I'm in the middle of something really important and suddenly my computer welcomes me with that annoying blue screen. Now one error code that often pops up is the stop code video TDR failure. Trust me, it's as annoying as it sounds. But fear not, because I'm here to guide you through some of the practical solutions that I've personally found helpful to fix this issue on my Windows 10 and 11 systems. Stick around, follow these steps carefully, and I promise we'll get your PC back to normal in no time. Before we dive into the methods though, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Your support really does mean the world to us. All right, let's jump right into it and start fixing this annoying issue. So now that we're clear of how annoying and frustrating the TDR failure issue is, let's delve into the reasons behind it. You see, this problem tends to rear its ugly head when you're eager to watch a video, but instead of getting to enjoy that video, your system decides to crash on you. Not cool, right? So what could be causing this stop code video TDR failure? Well, some of the common culprits that are likely to trigger this annoying error are technical issues with your graphics card, which can throw your system off balance. Outdated graphics drivers might be wreaking havoc on your PC. Uh, third is having too many background processes that are running simultaneously, which could overload your system. And the fourth reason that could likely cause the trouble is overheated components, which could send your computer into a black screen. Now we've uncovered the reasons behind the pesky video TDR failure in Windows 10 and 11, it's time to roll up our sleeves and tackle this issue head on. But hey, don't worry, we've got your back every step of the way. Alright, let's kick off our quest to fix the video TDR failure by checking for any damaged system files on your Windows machine. Sometimes these files could get corrupted or replaced by incorrect ones, causing all sorts of trouble. Good news is though, there is an easy way to tackle this. We are going to unleash the power of the built-in system files utility checker that comes built into Windows. This nifty tool will scan your system for crucial files and automatically replaces any damaged ones with fresh working copies. It's like giving your computer a much needed health check. To start, type CMD in the search bar on your Windows computer. Run it and enter the command sfc forward slash scan now and hit enter and let the magic begin. The system wide scan will now diligently search for and replace any damaged files. Might take a few minutes though so sit tight and let it do its thing. Once the scan completes restart your computer and check if the irritating stop code video TDR failure still persists. With a bit of luck, this method will work wonders and bid farewell to that annoying error. Stay with me though, my friends, as we explore more solutions to get your system back in tip-top shape. If you find yourself still facing the video TDR failure after the first solution, chances are it's due to a startup program failing to load properly. But worry not, because I have just the fix for you. Performing a startup repair. Might sound a bit technical, but trust me, it's a breeze. Follow these simple steps to perform a startup repair on your Windows 10 or 11 system. Launch the settings menu and click on update and security. Now navigate to the recovery section. Under the advanced startup tab, click on restart now. Brace yourselves, we're about to embark on a journey to fix these pesky startup issues. Once you find yourself in the advanced startup window, select troubleshoot and then choose advanced options. Next, select the startup repair option. You might be prompted to enter your account password. If so, then go ahead and do this. Once you've completed these steps, sit back and relax as your system works its magic. The startup repair will automatically detect and fix any corrupt startup programs that have been causing you trouble. Sadly, those outdated display drivers can be quite the troublemakers when it comes to the video TDR failure error. Well, it's time to show them who's boss. So let's make sure that your display card drivers are up to date by following these simple steps. 
Press the Windows and X key and select Device Manager. We're about to give those drivers a much needed makeover. Look for Display Drivers and click the arrow next to it to expand the options. Then right click on the specific driver and select Update Driver. It's time to unleash the power of the Update Wizard. Your system will now embark on a quest to find the most suitable drivers and automatically install them for you. Sit back and let the magic happen. Once the driver update and installation process completes, give your PC a fresh restart and see if the video TDR failure error still dares to show its face. If it does, then you might try solution 4. If updating the display drivers didn't do the trick, don't lose hope just yet because we still have another ace up our sleeves reinstalling the drivers in safe mode. Safe mode is like a superhero cape for troubleshooting, allowing you to reboot your system with minimal requirements and tackle those stubborn issues. Press the Windows and R key to launch the run window, and in the window type msconfig and hit enter. This will open up the system configuration. Under the boot tab, check safe boot option and click OK. Get ready for a restart as your PC gears up to enter safe mode. Once your system boots into safe mode, press the Windows and X key to open Device Manager. Now we're on a mission to fix those drivers. Right click on the troublesome driver and select Uninstall. Now bid farewell to that current driver and prepare to start afresh. So it's time to now visit the manufacturer's website and download the most suitable version of driver for your system configuration. Trust me, that step is crucial. Once you've downloaded and installed the new driver, reboot your system in normal mode, and just like magic, you should find yourself free from the clutches of the video TDR failure. Now, we know the pain of losing unsafe files due to this error, but fear not, because we have a method to rescue your lost data by using Wondershare Recover It. You have all you need in one pack. It's a dedicated tool designed to rescue and restore all your lost data and deleted files in just three simple steps. So I'll now teach you how to easily use Recoverit to recover your valuable data. Start by installing Recoverit and then double tap the icon to launch it. Then choose the specific location where you've lost your precious data from and click Start to initiate the scanning process. Now sit back and relax as Recover It performs a deep scan of the selected drive. Be patient as this process can take some time. You can even pause the scan if you've already found the files that you're looking for, and behold, a list of all deleted and lost files will appear before your eyes. But before we proceed to recover them, let's just take a moment to make sure we've actually found the right files. So tap on the preview button in the right side panel to get a glimpse of the file's content. Make sure it's the ones that you're seeking before moving forward. Once you're satisfied with the preview, click on that glorious recover button in the bottom right corner, choose a suitable destination for the recovered files to be restored to, and with a stroke of digital wizardry, recover it will diligently restore all of the files to that selected destination. Whether it's treasured photos, important documents, or precious videos, Recovery supports various file formats and strives to recover every last byte of information. So thank you for joining me on this journey to fix the stop code video TDR failure. I hope the solutions provided have been helpful in resolving the issue for you. Remember to leave a comment below with your thoughts and experiences, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. And together, we can conquer Windows errors and create a smoother computing experience. So stay tuned for future updates.